All right, hey everyone, welcome to my bandana manor. I am headband guy, not Lane, the only Scottish man to win a round of golf with a squash bowl. <laughs> You're on fire, I can't hear myself. No, you can't hear yourself, there we go. You should be fine now. Yeah. It was recording, it's okay. Good. <laughs> so, so, so we all heard your joke and not me go get fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, we're not even a minute in, and Ian's, Ian's off. It's on his right end. <laughs> wow, this guy. <laughs> oh, let's just drop out the music. All right, I've queued that up for the video. We have video now. Oh, I better stop it too. What the video? No, no, the uh, the audio. Okay. The intro music. Okay. So yeah, I'm headband guy. I got a beard. Yeah, you do. That happens when you don't shave. It is. Are I you mean, trying to be more like me? I am actually, yes. Don't I've, I've noticed. <laughs> wow, so fucking funny. <laughs> no, I just enjoy your facial hair. I just wanted to be a part of this. It just happens mine's a little bit darker. It's not fuller. It doesn't fill in my face as well as it could. It's quite amateurish, really. It's my first day. I enjoy your facial fear. <laughs> your facial fear. Facial fear. <laughs> facial facial beard. Facial fear. New band name called it. Yeah, and I want to be closer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Whoa, ding. Whoops. Sorry, guys. That was bad. We're professionals. So what's been going on this week, uh, Headband Guy? All right. Uh, what do we got with Mr. a lot of guy. things, Mr. Guy? <laughs> Sebastian. Sebastian Guy. Leave Sebastian alone. We're not going back to Sebastian again. Leave him alone. Uh, <laughs> well, we haven't introduced the show either. So we're up at episode two. Episode two. Woo. So, woo. 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 <laughs> you fans have I, demanded more episodes. I, I don't know if you can see, but my nipples are erect. <laughs> You're excited for all these nipples. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wearing a jumper. You can't notice it. So Pointless Banter. Episode yes. two. Yeah. Yep. So we're coming at you not quite live. We'll post this on afterwards. People mm -hmm. can hear us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's been a few things going on in the week. Uh, let's have a quick rundown of what's been happening. So, live stream with the Akabar, Bloom. Um, who won it? Do you know who won it? No, 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 it hasn't won yet. No, okay. no. So, it's, uh, what, second week I think is happening now? I think there's three weeks total of live streaming of Battle of the Bands. Okay. I'm not really sure how they're battling. It's not like Mortal Kombat or anything. They're filming that. Oh, they filmed that. They, they filmed yeah. that. That's yeah. finished. I think they're just into editing phase now. That was done a little while ago. Okay. I had a few friends try and uh, do extra jobs. Oh, extras apply, f apply for the extra roles. Okay. Trying to get that out there. I've had a few of these tonight already. Sponsored by Asahi. No, we can't say that. We can't what? say things like that. What? Okay. I, I don't know. What? I don't know sponsored if we can. Sponsored by what? Who? Well, we're not really sponsored by anyone. It's just my Lego and my bandana matter. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> just Lego everywhere. There we go. There's some, there's some up there behind me. <laughs> I it's didn't spot little... that. You put the band up there. You changed it every week. I've noticed that's a thing. What do you mean every week? This is our second episode. No, no. Well, last week it was Skid Row. And the week yeah. before it was the Queen when it was the Queen's birthday. Not that at all. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It wasn't Freddie Mercury. It was actually like, it was you the, know, queen. the Queen. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Huh. I've got band Lego up there. So who's playing this week on uh, Friday night? Oh, okay. So Friday night, Bloom, live streaming from the Arkabar. So obviously, depending on when you're hearing this episode, it's already happened. Yeah, it's on right now. It's on right yeah. now. Should you really be talking about next week's? <laughs> Lucky for you and everyone out there in I iTunes land. Oh, iTunes. Well, you're not meant to I'm say not that. Meant to say that. No. Pod Pod tunes. But apparent, apparently, I cast. Apparently, our podcast is on. A, it is on iTunes now. Is it on iTunes? Oh, there we, no, hang on. No, you're not allowed to say iTunes. Podcast. I don't know what it's. Yeah, it's so Apple our, Podcast. No, no. So our podcast. You're not allowed to say who it's on. No, okay. Even though you already have four times, you have to be kind of subtle about it and say it's it's a podcast on that on that thing that's in the William Tell Overture, and people will go, "Oh, that's that fucking." Well, clever people will. Right, okay. They'll figure out. I'm that's... not that clever. I'm just, I'm just normal white guy. Or can I? I can't even say white guy now. So you know the story about the guy who puts the apple on his head and someone shoots a oh, fucking yes. bow through it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I could be wildly off, but I'm pretty sure it's William Tell thing. Right, you? okay. I could be. He's gonna try and uh, suss out on your um your your, your uh, glass device there that I has can't... reception. There's no or lack thereof. There's no reception here because I'm trapped in a metal bunker, fifteen thousand feet below the fucking ground, in what seems like Chechnya. Um, so I get no optus coverage here. I <laughs> so, wow. 
<laughs> Anywho. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So let's get let's uh, let's continue on. So uh, night. One recap. So Oscar the Wild, Sword and Stone, Champ, and Night Over Day. They were they were played last week, or they were the first week. Who won? I don't know. Do not watch it. I may have, probably should have watched it. So how many dots do you put at the end of that sentence? Three, four, or five? Uh, that one, I didn't actually put any dots on that one. Okay. I do have some dots coming up afterwards on some other things. Oh, okay. What are them things? Uh, that'll be the most memorable local show. Ooh. With a question mark, and then I've got mine dot dot dot. Yep, so I've got some dots there. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, here's another one, guy. Uh, yeah, why mine was chosen as the most memorable one? I've got a drunk guy dot 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 fudge. My notes, mm-hmm. we'll come back to that anyway. Uh, oh, so you got a plan? Have you? I got a, I got a bit of a plan. So, for those of you playing at home, written up a plan. So, even though it's pointless banter, there's a plan. There's a, there's a plan to pointlessness, yes. Yeah. You did send that to me today, but I was busy. Yeah? I was busy, busy with your day job? Yeah, I was busy, you know, solving people's problems in their lives. What kind of problems? Not worth getting into? Oh, uh, just... Some people. Some people? Some people. You Can wouldn't... you say that, though? I'm not sure if we're allowed to say some people. Some the... people. I don't care. Some people. I don't know how they get out of bed without banging their head. It's just mental. Was this like a quiet riot thing? You know, like bang your head. No, they're just mental. They're like, just they're, mental. You just some people. Common sense. So many people don't have common sense. It just our our lifestyle has ruled common sense out since what, like twenty years ago. What happened twenty years ago? I don't know. I don't know when the exact time frame was, but oh, that was a big fucking call you just made. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I uh, even put a timeline on it and everything. I'm like, oh, it was like two decades ago. Yeah, yeah, common sense is gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you remember before that? I like to think I do remember before common sense was gone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was young. 94. No, hang on. No. That's 25, 6, 26 20, years ago. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's... Uh, what, 99? 21 yeah. years ago. Yeah. 21 years ago. I think I was learning drums. I'm so glad you said drums. I thought you were going to say some else. <laughs> <laughs> I was learning how to shoot up in the school toilets. <laughs> <laughs> That's not common sense right there. That came at 2001, <laughs> when oh, common sense yeah. was gone. I was learning just the right temperature in that spoon. I was, I was really concerned where that was going. <laughs> With the Bunsen burners. <laughs> Science class. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right, so uh, week two, we've got... Um, there's, so there's a new show this week, uh, The Closing... Strut? No, Struth. Sasha the Band. It's your own handwriting. Yeah, no, it's terrible. And something else. Oh, and of course. And of course, Mum's Favourite. So that's your four bands coming up this week on the second episode of Bloom, live streaming from the Arca Bar. The Bee Gees. My mum's favourite's the Bee Gees. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, there's only no, one there's... of them left. Are they playing at the Arca Bar this, tonight? Are they playing just the one? Yeah. You just said there's one and you said that they yeah, you just playing? said mum's favourite. Mum's favourite yeah, is the favourite, yeah. I'm not sure who my mum's favourite is, but you know. No, no that's, that's, that's the band here. So I've got here written and mum's fa- uh, mum's favourite. Oh, they're called mum's favourite. They're called mum's favourite. Okay. It's kind of a clever play on words, really, in a is way. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, next week, we've got Isaac Thomas. Guy with two first names. Don't trust him. His best friends. Oh, so Isaac Thomas and his best friends. So we don't trust him or his friends. Okay. Uh, Blue Lucy. He's kind of Sebastian. Soda and Bitchborn. So the stream. Bitchborn. Stop- bitch, Bitchborn are good. Bitchborn are good. Yeah. So you reckon it. they'll go all the way to the end? I don't know. I've seen them a few times. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of music again? I know. I think you may have mentioned this in. Our pre-episode to the first episode. They're good music. They kind of play like a, a punk alternative uh, rock music. You know, Excellent. they're good. Um, three females, uh, male drummer. Cool. I, I I don't care about genders, so I don't think they do either. But um, yeah, they're they're a good band. Bit quirky, bit quirky, yeah. but good. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's all happening from on Friday nights from seven forty-five PM. So check out arkabarhotel.com.au backslash bloom. Okay, what else have you got? All right, so we've got 
few other things about live streaming, most memorable local band show, international acts. What is your most memorable local band show? Oh, should we go on to that one already? Topic. Okay, topic of most memorable local show. Dude, man, we've got now, 40 minutes. We've got 40 minutes. I think we've already hit up, like, what, 15, maybe 7? I minutes? don't know, 12? 14. What? I'm not really good with timing. <laughs> You're a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you set me up for that, didn't you? I, I saw that. I couldn't help myself. It was like, it was like, like a bull with a red flag. Oh, what am I going for? Um, yeah, so, what's your most memorable local show? Oh. So we're talking just Adelaide bands it's, here. Well, I was thinking, like, we, yeah, local bands, however, international acts, sometimes they do the whole, we're going to bring in a local guy or local band and give them an opportunity to push them forward. So with Alice Cooper going back a couple of years ago with Motley Crue's last show, Motley Crue, of course, was headlining. Alice Cooper was guest, but they brought in Triple M to do a local band. Lo and behold, Rosemont won. So Was that them? That was them. They did a... Uh, they opened up for them. I that was that a show. pretty cool show. Only originals allowed to be played, no covers, um, and they did well. You love that band. I love that band. I got a Gallo drumstick that night. I love that band so much. <laughs> of course, Gallo's not bad. <gasps> so they were Love Cream. At the time. Ah, that's, that's how... That's, that's why, difference. yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, so Love Cream Band. Okay. Still all originals, still all good show. All right. So what was the dot, 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 chunk guy? Oh, okay, so dot, let's dot, get into dot, that a little bit more. So yeah. local memory. Um, So mine would be... Well, the most memorable at the moment. Fuck, that was a pretty... Oh, there's my first F-bomb. Catch up. Yep. Uh, righties. I'd say the at the moment would be the the Gov Rosemont Submerge. Oh, fucking Rosemont again. Yeah, Submerge were playing second and Audio Rain. Okay. That would be the most memorable local gig, like hundred percent local well, gig. All three local. Aren't yeah, they? they are all three local. Yeah. So funny thing is, I rang up my service internet service provider this morning. This better be funny. Yeah, it kind of is actually. So I was trying to hook up my Xbox last night to the interwebs. With whom? With whom? Oh, I'm not going to say the provider. I actually, know they're a really good provider, though. Now, who are you hooking your Xbox up with? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant my, you know. Oh, you think, you're thinking yeah. my, um, my my package is called Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> who am I trying to hook that up with next? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You beat me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't beat me with it. <laughs> yeah, We're just going to that by the way. No. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. My Sony PlayStation. What was the other one? What was the big one? I had one years ago. What, Nintendo? No, no, no. I had Amiga? One of... No, no. I had the... Commodore? I had the... Stop talking! <laughs> I had a Dreamcast. See, see a Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. Ev- if ever anything was so appropriate. <laughs> it was shit. Graphics were fantastic, but you could only buy 10 games. Yeah, well, Virtual Fighter was one of them. I know that. It was a Sega one. Oh, sorry, a Sega one. <laughs> They're all Sega. Sega. No. <gasps> The best ever game. Plumbers don't wear ties. That was on the Dreamcast. I have to go with that. You have no idea about plumbers. Plumbers don't wear ties. I don't really play computer games. I'm too. It's busy. not even a computer game. What? <laughs> it was a pointless. Oh man. Wow, memories. So you're gonna have to YouTube, Google, search whatever you want to call it. Plumbers don't wear ties. Guarantee you're going to get a laugh out of that. It's like a weird choose your own adventure game where it's like video. Uh, they've compressed video into it, and you choose what this plumber does. And you have a choice of going out with this um, this guy's daughter or something, and it's like a weird choose your own adventure story. No real gameplay whatsoever. Okay. And if I am wrong, I have just ruined this whole segue. Segway. Segway. <laughs> okay, so we're segwaying into dating plumbers' daughters now. Yes. Uh, okay, so. Well, you're talking about a have... Dreamcast. <laughs> so we have, hello, <laughs> exhibit number one. <laughs> I mean, there is a segway we have, right, which is, it's not exactly to answer your question, but it is a segway. Right. As such. So not exactly answering most memorable local. Well, you haven't asked me that question. Well, I have answered. But I haven't told you why. I haven't asked you either. Oh, okay. yeah, no. Okay. No, well, you're going into your segue, so digress Digress away. Digress away, thank yeah. you. No worries. So, um, I personally don't have a favourite local show, because I go to so many of them, and there's so many fantastic local shows. And bands. how many are we up to this far, this year I'm before? I'm still stuck on fucking 29. 29. Uh, but what I will say is one of the events every year 
of the Adelaide Music Calendar right. of just Adelaide and South Australian bands every year without fail is Heavy SA. Right, okay. Okay. Now, um, that's something that's set up from Jason North from Truth Corroded. And um, so he does it every year. Yep. Usually at Fowler's or Lines Art, whatever it's called now. Okay. So he has it there. It was meant to be in April, but of course, you may have heard there was something going on. You may have heard this, yes. So that got pushed out to the 8th of August. Okay. Um, and during the week, he has another one called the New Dead Metal Fest where he gets some bands in internationally as well. Had to cancel that. However, that's freed up the date because the one on the 8th of August of Heavy SA still isn't going to happen. But he announced today that Heavy SA has now been moved out to the 14th of November. Right. So basically, it's an all day, like 12 to 11, 12? So like 12, 12, 11 hours. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, of, and because Fowler's or Lion's Art has two stages, so it's just constant all day of Adelaide and, and South Australian bands just playing. So awesome. Tickets are only $20. Really? Tickets are only $20 to have a whole day's worth of... And it's not just... Even though Truth Corroded are... You'd probably pop them under the... the oh, I'll get in trouble for this, but probably the Thrash Metal banner. Um, the whole day isn't just Thrash Metal. It is the whole gambit of of rock and metal. So there's bits of everything that's in there. Are they, seg- are they, are they segwaying? Are they going through different bands um, or different genres of bands throughout the period of the day and then working up to be heavy, heavy Thrash at the end? Or... No. They haven't they haven't done that yet. They just no. Well, each each year is different depending yeah. on which bands they're getting into play and various things. Um, I think this year I've got a sneaky suspicion. I think it's Sibon Kira. Uh, head, oh yes, uh, headlining because it's their last ever show. But it was meant to be their last ever show in April. Right. And obviously that band's just been dragged out now because of coronavirus. Like everyone, everyone's yeah. band's been dragged out. But you know what? Look for twenty dollars. That's you'll that's get pretty to, cool. Yeah, you'll get to see. Uh, 30 plus pens some you'll like some you'll hate some you'll go that's kind of cool that's sound wave though that's same as those big event festivals but what you're also doing of course is that you're having a few drinks and you're having a pal uh, having a, a you know a chin wag with your pals and you know and you're exposing exposing yourself to some local exposing music yourself. exposing yourself <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah so, so you might not necessarily go here long and here so that's my that's one of my big things if you're talking locally music that that happened this week week happened today actually right so that got announced yeah when i was preparing all week for this so no chance of that cancelling or we just got to play it by ear at the moment uh, you gotta play it by ear and the re- and look jason north has already come out and he's already mentioned that if it does get cancelled for a third time right that it's just done because of course i know it's one of the your notes as well um pretty much everyone said there's gonna be no international bands coming here this yeah. year yeah yeah that's what i got down here that's done. not till 2021 yeah easy I don't even see it happening to maybe at the end of 2021, maybe 2022. Depends what really happens uh, over in America and, and Europe. Because, I mean, in Europe's kind of chilling out a little bit, but the UK is still mental, and the yep. US is just... Uh, just... There's also there's, there's, there's mixed, mixed, group, oh, mixed thoughts on that group of, of what they're actually calling disease or the results of everything, whether it's actually true, true results or fudged results. So, well, because Donald Trump came out overnight and said, he, he I actually would, haven't heard what Donald Trump said overnight. So he came out and he said something along the lines of, um, "Our cases are low because people haven't been tested." Like, well, yeah, that's not. not no, I haven't heard that one. Yeah, no, like that. I've I've heard that um, they're rocking up to hospitals, um, even if they're not getting tested, it's just getting COVID. Everyone's just been like COVID, 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 and that's the results, and therefore all of that's been. I suppose oh, the results have been altered to to reflect that, and um, people that are, have passed away, all of that's been the result of this COVID situation. So it's not uh, it's not a true reading. It's all. So you're saying America's not that bad? It could be not that bad. It's just whatever opportunity that the hospitals get to get their kickbacks from the government for. Uh, Stupid selecting words. I even wasn't going to try and wasn't even going to talk about this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The, the yeah the kickbacks from the government for the for said situations for each hospital and all that sort of thing. So, well, seen as you weren't meant to talk about this, what else do you have on your book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get back to my memorable local show, uh, mo- most memorable local show. So, for the reason that it's the cranker with Rosemont. Submerge <laughs> and audio rain. I did digress saying that funny thing with my internet service provider. I rang them up after connecting my Xbox to my interwebs. 
I forgot my admin password. Couldn't get into the router. So I was like, all right, I'm going to have to reset it. So I reset it. It wouldn't log on. So I had to call them up. Anyway, so I called them up. Mentioned that I'm doing a podcast after tonight. So I had to get this all ready and done, sorted, the internet, so I could upload it. Audio Rain, guitarist, was... Jake Fleming. No. no. He's the singer. He plays the guitar as well. He he's does, not, he's yeah. There, he's, he's, the main, he's the singer. He'll be, he's the main guy. He's the main guy, the yes. podcast is being listened to. The guitarist won't be happy. Why wouldn't his guitarist be happy? I'm saying, hey, hey, Alec. Oh, well, there you go. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> go. Tr- I'll, trying to find out. Yeah, I'll go on Facebook trying to find out the guy's name. And, uh, yeah, that's right. I would never have got it anyway. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, it turns out, yeah, we're doing local calls here for my internet service provider. So, it's pretty cool. Do you live in a black hole? This fucking phone never works. Well, that's that's because it's that network. My 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 current internet service provider network and my, my cellular device network is fine. Yours is just not that great. So, another reason why that's my most memorable event, local show, my camera got broke that night. That's how memorable it is. Yeah, I was pissed off. So, drunk guy... Mm, stumbled into it. I don't know how. I remember you telling me now. Yeah. Yeah. I was. I was peeking. I wanted to throw fists. Like I really wanted to throw fists. And you're so pacifistic. If that's a word. Yeah. You're so gentle. Gentle. I'll take that. Thank yeah. you. Oh. You're soft. <laughs> you're soft like a summer breeze on your bollocks. <laughs> but you hurt one of my children, and I'm gonna end you. <laughs> Didn't even want to. Oh, I couldn't even get him to pay half the fees to get it fixed, though. Have you um, seen him around? You no, I haven't seen him around. I didn't even know who he was. He was an absolute ass. I got his phone number, called him up a couple of times. Oh, yeah, I gave him my number to help try and find, but he didn't do shit. Rosemont stepped up. Ah, oh, even Jake, Jake um, from um, Audio Rain stepped up, chipped me a couple of bucks, get my camera fixed. So that was fair. It was very cool. Hmm. So yeah, that got fixed. Cool. Ended up live streaming the uh, gig. Most of most of Audio Rain got submerged up there, and Rosemont up there. So that was pretty cool. cool. So you guys hitting up for live streaming of gigs? Let me know. I'll get it done. 100 creations. Yeah, 180 creations. What's next? All right, so what's next? So no international acts. Hang on, I should go back to the topic number two, I think. So speaking of live streaming. Oh, that's a nice little segue. Good choice of the word now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, you mean my choices haven't been that good? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, don't say yeah, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but no. no, but yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll all just take drinks. Yeah, we'll just all take drinks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Drugs, drinks. Drinks. (laughs) Taking drugs. My mum could be listening to this. No. (laughs) And she'd be like, oh, I fucking knew it. No, they (laughs) dropped the F-bomb again. That's twice. Oh, and that's the fourth. Is it the fourth? I only counted twice. I'm on one. I'm trying my hardest not to. Anyway, all right. So, live streaming. Tomorrow. Sisters Doll, Melbourne band. I like to watch them. They're, They're pretty fun to watch. They're pretty good dudes as well. Oh, they're nice to talk to. They're good. Yeah, they are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All right, so they've got a show. Where is it? Do-do-do-do-do-do. Saturday, June 20th, 7 p.m. So hit up their Facebook for the live stream. And if you've missed it, well, you're probably hearing about it now, which you have missed. So on their Facebook, I'm pretty sure you can watch their previous live streams as well. And I think you might be able to watch this live stream, which would then just be a stream. So... Check out the Sisters Doll live stream or stream. Well, they're still they they they've been announced on the uh, the Crash Diet show, which right. is in November, I believe. That's not going to happen. We know that. Well, that, that was the question mark because it's an international show, whether they will or not. Yeah. So but that was supposed to happen. For that. that was supposed to happen early on in the year as well. There's a lot of shows meant to happen earlier. Yeah, the year. and they've all been pushed back. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even see Steel Panther happening next year, early next year as well. Um, might, might be different then. Just no. So, what else you got? All right. You got a whole page full of stuff there. A whole page, yeah. So, so your most memorable show would have been what's what's coming up and what's happened in the last with heavy metal essay. So I'm just going back over the shit that I've got written here. That's most of my stuff. Though. I've got so many shows now that it has to. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great bands. What about international then? Local band at an international show. What is your most memorable local band at an international show? Does a local band have to be an Adelaide band, or is no, a local no, no, band no. to where I was? Local band is or any of the any of the Australian bands. Oh yeah, I'm out there. You're out there. You don't uh, know. Yeah, 
Uh, okay, we'll do Adelaide then. Let's do an Adelaide band. Still out. Um, still out. I, you know what? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll put this out there. Actually, I went to um, the first one because it's difficult because I go to so many and I see them so often that, and it sounds terrible. I'm saying this that often it become it can become a bit of a blur. Yep. Um, and a lot of times I'm there primarily for the the main act. So, and, and that's not trying to sound like I'm being dismissive because I'm not. However, I do remember the Anvil show when Anvil played here a few years ago at Fowler's. Stop yep. knocking shit down, yeah. man. Jeez, settle down. You got so excited oh, about Anvil. That was the table this time. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to do the meet and greet with Anvil as well. Did you go to that show? I did go to that show, yes. Well, yeah. I, I, I interviewed Lips. And um, I don't think I knew you that time, no. No, you probably wouldn't have. No. So I, I interviewed Lips, and he was uh, he was one of the best interviews ever. He was so good, I was able to do two different um, features on him. Right. Because he was just like, because he just talks. Yep. Like, like you just throw him the ball and boom, he was gone. Right. And it was like, yep. Yeah. And then you come back 20 minutes later and you're like, oh, I'll say something else and throw the ball. And off he goes again. It, he was gold. Anyway, um, supporting him that night was Hidden Intent. Yes, they were. That's right. And that was, I reckon, I know I would have seen him once or twice before, but they've never stood out. But that particular night, that particular crowd, that particular vibe, they were exceptional. Right. They really were exceptional. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'd, I'd probably, as annoying as this is, you know, if Chris hears it or Phil hears it, um, <laughs> I, love, I love Phil. <laughs> as annoying as it is, um, it, it would, it would. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, it, it, it would. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been told you can swear we were cousins. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I would, um, I, I'd, I would have to say them. They're right. not. The, that's not my favorite gig ever. That favorite gig. No, most memorable. Most mem- I'll yeah. tell you my most memorable gig ever. But that's what I was just asked. Most memorable. No, you said Adelaide band. Yeah, most memorable local band or Adelaide band at an international show. Well, that, so well, that is because An- that is Anvil's yeah, Anvil's, Anvil's international. But my most memorable show, right? Ever, full stop. May nineteen ninety six, Glasgow Barrowlands. <laughs> it's White Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes my Rob Zombie fascination again. <laughs> it was so good. It was so so good that I had to leave halfway through because I was dehydrated and I needed water. Oh, wow. I came back. Don't worry about that. Oh, I came back for seconds. I wasn't missing out on that. I'm glad it didn't because he never played again. Jeez. But um, yeah, they were. I just yeah, I I was exhausted at the end of that. Yeah, right. Best gig ever. Wow. Supporting him was a band called Catherine Wheel. Who were the complete opposite? It was the yin and yang. I was stood there like, fuck, oh, I wanted to top myself. I was like, that's so shit. And then White Zombie came on. It was like, ah. Oh. Yeah, anyway. Okay, cool. I digress yeah. there. That's 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 the whole. That's the banter talk. That's yeah, we've we only got eight more minutes. That's okay. No, we can stretch it out a little bit longer. Right. We, we we talked a fair bit of crap there before before the show actually started. Oh, you, you did. Oh, when am I not? Um, all right, so for me, oh, I suppose. The most memorable local band <laughs> at an international show. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Fowlers as well. Really? Um, yeah. Trolldhorgan. Who? Trolldhorgan. They sound Norwegian. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't remember which which city they're from. I think they're from Melbourne. Came out in Egyptian costumes or attire, how you want to put it. Amazing. Oh, they just reminded me of something. They played with Corplicani. Ah, oh, okay, that's why. Yeah. yeah, why? What do you mean, that's why? Because you like Corplicani. Yeah, I don't mind a little bit of Corplicani. Oh, you're they, high-pitched yeah. then. <laughs> yeah, they, they're great. I saw them... Uh, when did I see them? I remember meeting one or two of them at Enigma after their show last time that they were at the Gov. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, that was a couple of years ago. That was maybe four or five. They played at... Um, oh, they played at Giant Bar last year. No, it was Fowler's. Was it Fowler's last year? It was year? Fowler's, yeah. Okay. Like last year. Yeah, it was last year. I didn't go. No, that's that's where Trollhogan was. So I had no idea who they were. Man, did they step up. That was amazing. It was just all... It was electronic with metal. It was great. See, now you've triggered stuff. Right? Yeah. I'm going to... Um... Well, you triggered that with Hidden Intent. So I didn't even think of them until you mentioned Hidden Intent at Fowler's. And then boom, that's where I went. So um, again, Fowler's. <clears throat> yeah. But it's going to be two on this one. Okay. So it's Fowlers. Now, the... the um... Not CKY. 
No. Oh, okay. I was. I remember seeing CKY now at Fowler's. You gotta remember. You, you listen to some stuff that I don't listen to, and you listen to some stuff that I don't listen to. There you go. It was um, Mammal, but supporting Mammal right. that night was um, this uh, Melbourne hip hop hip hop artist called uh... not Scribe. No, <laughs> he's not, he's not even, he's not finish even him a sentence. <laughs> he's not even Melbourne. <laughs> ah. uh, no, called, called Fresh Violet, right? So um, I've become pals with her over the time, right? And she um, she came on. So like, everyone's come to go and watch Mammal, right? So right. Mammal's Ezekiel Ox, who's also the singer of Super Heist. Who, by the way, is the next story I'm going to go into in a, sh- in a, a few moments. If we've got time, we're running out we'll of time. We'll have fucking time. If you look at the time, right. yeah. Time is what I'm And And um, so M- Mammal are kind of like a very uh, uh, an edgy alternative rock band. and it's, it's very They've played political. the Soundwave as well, haven't they? Probably. Yeah, right. And it's very political and blah, blah, blah. And, and he's a he's a very enigmatic. Inign- he's a good frontman, right? <laughs> I can't even say the word. Right, so he's one of them. So the, most people who have turned up are, have gone for this, right? Gone to, to, to see this type of music 7.30 this girl walks on stage on her own no band just walks on stage right she's got the fucking machine thing there right Uh, and she's like hey everybody you know blah 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 you know starts talking and you know some of us start filling in everything else and then she presses a button the music starts and then she just starts rapping and it's like does she know she's at a rock show like does she has she gone to the wrong venue I've got no fucking idea here and she basically fucking performed for half an hour and eventually drew more and more and more people in. Right. And um, I had, um, I had backstage, it's a true story, I had backstage access that night. So <laughs> I actually did. When don't you? Oh, you actually did. <laughs> I, actually, I, actually give, I walked through the door and I went, what? and he gave me two bands. I went, what's the second one? Oh, you can go where you want. Really? I'm off downstairs <laughs> where the free drink is. And um, Isn't that where the latrine is? Uh, different spot. Oh, okay. and, different dances. Um, right, sorry. Was, was I drinking out of the tap? Anyway, so, was I drinking out of the toilet? Is that why I can't remember most of the night? So, it was, um, <laughs> what's, with, what's with your keg here? Yeah. I'm just, just pouring in. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what, what are these blue things in this trough thing here that I'm licking? <laughs> so anyway, so anyway, so and, and so I got chatting to her and everything else, and you know, and. Um, as I said, we're, 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 we're pals now, and um, but I just and, and then I and then I interviewed Ezekiel Ox not long after, or maybe a year or so later, when he was promoting his solo album, um, which I, off the top of my head I think is called um, "Watching Bombs Drop from Deck Chairs" or right. something of that nature. Good album, and um, and and I mentioned to him, I said, "Oh, when you brought Fresh Violet out, she's a hip hop, she's a rapper, yeah, and you're fucking rock." And he said, he goes, that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to kind of get in people's faces and go, you're having a whole different show. He goes, I want to promote local artists. I want to promote Australian artists. Uh, and and it's not about you just go and you watch the, you know three of the same bands, which I'm a big one for. I don't, I'm, a, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, and, and so he was like all behind it all. And he goes, you could tell as the tour went on, it just grew and grew and grew and grew for us. And that was memorable because it was, what the fuck? And she won over the audience. Then he came around with Super Heist, and, it, and this was he played at uh, Enigma Bar, and uh, it was just, it was wild. Yeah, and a right. lot of it is him. Okay, yeah. don't get me wrong. Super Heist, they, I mean, they have good music, they're good songs, and they're really cool people, and they, they put on a good show. But he is the guy. He gets out in the crowd. He's climbing on the tables. He climbed on the bar that night at Enigma Bar. He's hanging from the fucking ceiling. He's singing stuff. The play, and you know, Enigma is like when he gets packed in there. Like, oh yeah, seven people. You can't fucking move. Like, and it was it was hot and it was sweaty. Wait till you've experienced nine. I'm just nine people. Okay. Yeah. It was yes, yeah, so that was mental. All right, so there you go. That's oh, fine. Man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Next. All right. Yeah, nice. I got all passionate there. Yeah, you did. That's that's beautiful. I love that. So LA Guns has got a live stream coming up on June 20 as well. That's ten dollars USD. Uh, so whether you saw it live or on the on demand of sorts, I'm not sure. Uh, what have we got? Sebastian Bach tweeted recently. Oh, oh, I had to throw on a Sebastian Bach, Bach there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what have we got? Suppo- he was supposed to be playing at the BOK Arena in Tulsa, Oklahoma this month with Poison and some other guy or band. Did you see that that has been rescheduled all for next year, the big tour? Poison, uh, Motley Crue, and. Yes, uh, I have seen yeah. that, yeah. yeah. So what's. Uh, what, June, June 20, 2021. Yeah. It's good, so, for, it's good for our American viewer. That is good. <laughs> Viewers or listeners? 
<laughs> I'm sure they'd be love it. They'd love podcasts over there, or <laughs> iCasts, or PodTunes. I'm not sure. Why, why are you making it plural? <laughs> This is our second episode. <laughs> no, no, no. When you said listeners. Listeners. <laughs> Viewers. Why are you putting a Z on the end? What's that about? Oh, we do have five minutes. What, aggregate is it? Over our 35, 38 year, uh, viewers? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah on that's average. True. So that's pretty cool. That's what aggregate means, isn't it? I'm not 100% sure on my words. Aggregate's either. everything combined. Okay, so yeah, uh, with Sebastian Bach... Um, He's not quite happy the fact that they've got Really? A... Sebastian yes, Bach is, is not happy. happy. What a surprise. Show can, but they're allowed to have a rally taking place in the same venue. How was this fair? It was well, a... we weren't around a rally last Saturday, but we're allowed to have a football game. Yeah, so reply tweet, let them rally and let natural selection take its course. I don't mind either. I love that. That's great. So, yes, let those Trump supporters do that. I'm not a fan of either or, but I'm a fan of natural selection. All right, so... Got a lot of stuff on there. What else have you got? All right. Let's move on to... What the hell is my writing? I can't even... Speaking of rescheduled. Why am I speaking of rescheduled? I don't know. Do you want to figure out what you're saying? I'll jump into something else. No, nah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so obviously we just talked about Def Leppard, Motley Crue, Poison, Joan Jet has been moved to June 2021. Yep. All of the tickets are valid. If you can't make it, get a refund. You can't make it because you're not in fucking America. You no, can't no. travel. But I'm not no international saying, travel I, to next year. No. Um, so let's talk about traveling here. We don't want you Victorians coming in here spreading a disease. So we're just going to be supporting local bands as soon as that is able to happen. Uh, Which, I, there's a few shows. There's a few shows that have been announced. Right, okay. I don't have any shows here announced on my sheet. Well... What have I not seen? Well, if anybody goes to Adelaide Rock and Metal Lovers... Yeah. Which is um, a page I may or may not be involved in. Uh, there were three shows announced during. Well, obviously Heavy SA, which we already mentioned. Yep. Uh, another show that was announced was the the uh, announced 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 announced. announced. Yeah, is uh, the Grave Mind to, uh, to multiple words. To the, multiple, yeah. yeah, okay, we're going. Uh, Grave Mind, Pride Lands, and Miraban uh, and Mirrors. Sorry, uh, playing on the fifth of September at Enigma Bar. So that was announced. Right. Another show that was announced uh, also at Enigma Bar on the 4th of September, the night before, was their Wolf and Chain, which I believe is their EP launch. Now, are they all local guys, or are they... They're all local. As in local SA guys? I believe so. Excellent. That's great. Okay. Why? No, oh, no. We need to be supporting more SA guys now, yep. more than ever. Yep. So, uh, there's, uh, that's going on. Um, I've got some stuff. Have yeah, we've got, we got about three minutes left. All right. Maybe four, I'm not sure. All right, well, you got, what more have you got? No, no, that's about it. I've run down everything that I needed to mention. Okay. It's really happy that I got uh, Ellie uh, Guns mentioned in there. I've got big, Sister's big Doll. thing. All right, well, I'll jump in. Uh, album that I've been listening to. <gasps> oh, no! Sweet Jesus. There's no pre- preparation. I'm going to throw it out there. Kiss 2022. What about them? Australia. But Kiss. Their, their final show is in July nope. next year. Nope. It's going to happen. We're going to get a kiss concert. Didn't they, didn't they sign a contract that the final show is at Madison Square Garden? Didn't also Motley Crue sign a contract? They're never touring again. Nobody believes anything that comes out of Motley Crue's Nobody believes mouth. anything about Kiss either. I'm calling it. Headband guys called it. Right. 2022. Uh, album of the week, if you get a chance to listen to it. Um, came out today, digitally. Next week it's on a physical copy. Right. Uh, what kind of physical copy? Cassette? A track? Could be. Uh, Beta Max um, is uh, make Perth, Perth done, band done a live concert. On <laughs> yeah, on Beta Max is uh, is the Perth band make them suffer. I reviewed the album during the week. It's a very very good album. Uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, what and, kind of music are we expecting from the? Uh, it's all over the show, and yeah. and, and it, like literally every song is a little bit different. So you know, there's a little bit of metalcore, there's a little bit of doom in there, there's a little bit of just straight on rock. There's kind of kind of a bit. Um, uh, a bit avant garde in there in one of the songs. It fucking works. It, like, right. it really did. Uh, it's it's on the heavier spectrum. Don't get me wrong. And local band Dead Sun released their new song uh, yesterday uh, in preparation for their new EP that's coming out on the first of July called Zenith. Uh, five track EP. I have uh, I have a pre release copy. Yeah. Uh, which I will be reviewing. And uh, for the heavier fans, it's heavier. Than something really for the heavier heavy. fans, it's heavier. It's heavy. <laughs> heavy. Uh, and my other big thing, because you want me to have four things, was and I haven't got enough time. Is um, 
we did the uh, Skid Row one last week. Well, Fear Factory, who I've tattooed on my arm. Right. Uh, uh, it was the 25th anniversary. Of the Not release. to be confused with the Foo Fighter logo that you've got there. Correct. Uh, released their. Uh, it was 25th anniversary of their uh, sophomore album, Demanufacture, which basically just kills. It's just an awesome album. Right. Every song bar one, Dog Day Sunrise, is uh, is just absolute killer. Fantastic album. So that's my that's my lot. All killer, one filler. Yep. Excellent. There you go. All right. All right. Well, that's uh, that's a pretty good episode too. Here at Bandana Manor. I got all my Lego around me. I got band Lego behind me. I've been headband guy. Not Lane's been next to me. You've been listening to Pointless Banter. And let me cue up the music. And I might get this a little bit better next time. But whatever. Thanks for listening. Thanks for drinking. Let's uh, cue it up with the uh, the outro. We're still talking about it. We're still, yeah, still talking. Okay. All right. <laughs>